Okay, it's day four of having my Troxy X3 up and running. Um, I have maybe one or two successful prints. I've replaced the nozzle, the heater block, and the throat on the printer. After day two, I was getting spongy prints or I leakage, and I come. I came to find out that the the heat break, the throat. Uh, didn't have a Teflon tube inside it, so I replaced that one with a Teflon tube, and I replaced uh, the heater block. The threads inside the heater block were fouled, and I couldn't get another nozzle fully seated, and it would create leaks. So I re replaced the heater block, the heat break, the throat, and a new nozzle. I also replaced the zip ties that were originally here. I replaced them with the ones you see there now, which are quite a bit beefier. The, the zip ties failed on my second day uh, of printing. They let go and ruined a print on me. Also, a con, big con of this printer is this: the x-axis belt is not sufficiently tight. You will get a fair amount of slippage there and to tighten the belt you have to pull this pulley assembly out as far as you can go and after two days of having the belt sufficiently tight the acrylic piece here holding the bearing on has split the split started here and went straight down through here so I don't, this is a big con for this, I don't think acrylic was a very good idea for this. And the other belt is also acrylic as well. So I'm going to have to replace that. But my, the biggest issue I've run into so far with this printer is, as I said, it's now four days up and running. And when I went to bed last night, I was in the middle of a print. And let me grab that print. The print was coming out fairly well. You can see that. No sponginess at all. But then it stopped. This print was working out very well, but then it stopped right there. And when I took a closer look at the printer to see what was happening, I turned the printer off and on, I turned it on, I had no LCD, the fan was going, nothing else was running. Um, what happened here, and this is really concerns me, is because I was asleep when this happened, is the ground for my power supply melted and what concerns me there is that I was in bed sleeping when this happened so the ground for this melted and I, I pulled it out here just to just to see how bad but the wire melted back and the whole bottom of this is just charred and uh, I was asleep when this happened so what concerns me there is if this caught fire, this could have been a very dangerous situation. So this printer's been up and running for four days, and four days in, I have a catastrophe. So right now the print, the printer is uh, rendered useless. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to replace this with another Melzi board. Uh, I've read too much online of this happening to too many people and I don't want this to happen again but if I replace this board with a ramps uh, Arduino combo I'm kinda stuck because there's no else there's no SD card support on the ramps I'd have to go to an LCD with SD card support and this LCD does not have SD card support nor would I have access to the side also everything SD card wise and whatnot is access through this this back area here so I don't know what I'm gonna do there I'm kinda stuck uh, I can't go with a Rambo board 
uh, it would be too big to fit in this space. Right now, a ramps Arduino combo would fit in there if I just redid the wiring a little bit. But I don't know what I'm going to do for SD card input. Um, so I don't know what to do. Plus, I think these Melzi boards are overpriced garbage. Um, unlike uh, if something were to fail on the ramps, uh, a stepper driver, I could easily replace it. I could replace the ramps itself. Even uh, this connector here, I can replace. It just pops right off. But on the Melzi board, if one thing fails, the whole thing fails. So I'm unsure what to do at this point. And this case is built specifically to house this board with this LCD. It's not as if I can take that LCD out and swap it with one of these, which have the SD card support on them, because I don't have that set up here, and I have no way to access the SD card on the side here. So I'm in a bit of a dilemma. So this is day four, having this printer up and running, and I'm a little bit disappointed in its performance so far. Uh, I got my first print was good. It was a tiny little hand, and then after that I had a few bad prints. One was my third print was uh, spongy, and that was due to the nozzle being clogged and uh, I was also getting leaks on my second and third print which was due to the nozzle not being up tight in the heater block against the throat of the heat brake. Uh, when I replaced the heater block and the nozzle and the throat I, it looked to me as if that fixed everything this print was turning out good Everything was nice and solid. Like, just it was coming out flawless. But it was too good to be true because the board went in the middle of this print. So, the positives. Price wise, it's a great deal. Stepper motors in the frame are higher end components, along with the pulley wheel assemblies. Uh, I'm not negative, there's, there's more cons than positives. However, the, these acrylic pieces that hold the pulley wheels in place, I don't think they're made to do that job. This one has already let go on me. The tiny zip ties that came with it I had to replace, they let go. Um, the printer home, when the home position of the printer is the, the bed is in the back so you have to reach through to pick up your, uh, uh, your part when it's complete instead of the bed homing to the front. I would have preferred the bed homing to the front. And obviously this uh, housing is proprietary to a Melzi board with the five button LCD um, and my Melzi board didn't last too long four days in and it's already uh, a goner so I'm stuck for now with this printer and uh, I'm really disappointed in that I was really looking forward to having this printer set up and run side by side with my deltas here's one over here running flawlessly have, I've had this printer running now for the last five months, no issues, and um, it prints perfect. I will show you a, a component just printed on it today, like flawless. So. Yeah, I, so I'm really disappointed with this. I was, had high expectations and I feel really let down.
I have been in contact with GearBest. I've let them know that I've got this issue with this Melzy board. It's been seven days since I've purged the printer, so I'm hoping that you know GearBest will uh, make good on their end. Uh, any questions or information I can provide anybody else that's ordering one of these or in the process of building one, just leave me a question in the comments and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.